I want to talk about personal power. I feel there's a lot of discussion about it, but that often people don't really know what it is. So, you know, to have personal power, you have to, first of all, stay in touch with yourself. So to be aware of how you're feeling every moment of the day. See, we can only do that if we have a certain amount of courage. Because sometimes these, you know, what we might be feeling might be uh, uncomfortable. So it's easier in a way just to say, stay kind of numb and not really know how you're feeling. But then you, you won't have personal power. So the other thing is, you know, we're taught in this culture, in the Western world, we're taught to use other people uh, to get what we want. Um, and truly coming into real personal power, you, you, you learn how to use yourself. So you experience yourself as, you know, a human being, but also with uh, extra resources, maybe in your unconscious, or if you if you think as I do that we're all divine beings, then that then there's no ceiling on what you can accomplish in a in a lifetime because you are an infinite being. So that's the second thing: is learning how to draw on your own resources and just you know, set something in motion, you know, if you want something, if you, um, like I've, I've said this before, you know, write it on a piece of paper and burn it. And really it's best to forget about it. But if you really want it, it will turn up in your life. I've done that lots. The other thing about personal power is, you know, it can be tempting in this day and age, maybe to go round and round in negative thoughts and even just go round and round in thoughts and not respond. So sometimes when I've sent a, a direct email to people who are studying with me, asking a question, there have been some people who, who just don't respond because it's less stressful for them if they just disconnect but that's the opposite of personal power if you do that that's sort of like you know you you leave your post and the other thing is and it's connected to this is the thing that you know really can cut us off at the knees is this negativity so if we have a lot of negative feelings about the world or other people then our personal power will be diminished. You know, really? It's like a fail-safe. It's, um, there's levels of personal power that you can't access until you're lodged in truth and lodged in, you know, um, being positive, being a constructive energy. It's as if, you know, it's, there are these, Mm. gateways that we go through in our lives and we don't get real access to personal power until we're you know not running so many negative thoughts maybe a more peaceful mind you know or until we're like steering toward the constructive You know, for a short term, somebody who's functioning in the negative can have, seem to have a lot of personal power, but it will be cut short. It will not continue forever. It, that person will be brought down. You could see it over and over again. If you, if you look at history and, and take the, the long view, look like through decades and you can see what happens to people. You can see that it's the, you know, the power of the innocence, like in the fairy tales, you know, the 
kind of guileless, good-hearted person triumphs in the end. And that's how it works. <laughs> I know maybe it takes till you've got gray hairs before you can see it. It certainly did for me. But then you can have real personal power and really you can, you can affect the whole world. So basically what I'm saying is you take responsibility and realize that the universe won't let you get too far until you do some, you know, chipping off some rough edges in, inside yourself. And, you know, don't repress negative thoughts, but observe them because they're very disempowering. And they will end up steering you in the wrong direction if you follow them, you know, so observe them. If you can't do anything else, observe them and just know that they're untrue. You know, if you really want personal power, you'll get it. You might have to um, get some lessons along the way. And um, you, you'll be shown. And that's that's a good thing. It's, you know, we're, we're here to learn. I mean, I really believe that we're here to come into higher awareness. Well, basically, let your light, you know, shine. Mm, that's the way to personal power. Okay, many blessings. <laughs>